on this beautiful 1st of November. Can you believe this weather? Yeah, you can hardly believe it. It's the 1st of November. It's, we're in t-shirts. Look at this. Wow, it's really warm. And we've just popped up for an hour or two to Sveti Vlas, which is um, just a couple of miles from Sunny Beach. Literally a couple of miles up the coast, going north. And we're starting off at the wonderful church here. A beautiful new church that was built and donated to the resort or the town by the, the brothers that built all this development, Denavi Bid brothers. Built all these amazing apartments. It's huge. It's all very well kept. And just down the hill from us here there is an arena, a theatre, like a Roman amphitheatre. Just behind the wall, just the back here. And here's a really nice view of the arena. Oh, there we go. There's a nice view of the arena. Magnificent sea views while you're watching a show. And here's a view of the church and the amphitheatre from above and you can see how they're uh, right next to each other and also how neat and tidy the development is in uh, Sveti Blast. It's all very well planned. We're just down from the church and on this wall is the Bulgarian glorious Olympic performances over the years, the medals and the famous athletes that have participated in the Olympics. Sort of memorial here to sports. It's a little bit different. They're gold medalists, it says the Bulgarian gold medalists. Yeah, the medal winners. Wow, what a nice little feature to discover in Sveti Vlas, just as we're walking round. You can see nothing really contrasts that greatly with what's next to it, unlike Sunny Beach where it's a real hodgepodge. This is a very well planned resort, right from the, right from the harbour, which the brothers the Navy brothers built the marina because their father always wanted to sail. He wasn't allowed to in communist times in case he escaped the country. So in honour of their father, they built a marina. Which is down the front here. I say, it's a bit different at Sunny Beach because it is planned. It is modern. It's all been planned the last few years and developed. So the pavements are all perfect. Um, the roads are all perfect. If you're after a holiday resort where it's a little bit, probably a bit more like Spain, probably because it is, uh, it's all well finished. If it's your sort of thing that you really want. Um, we tend to like the character of Sunny Beach, it's a little bit different. We like the variety. But just like Sunny Beach, there's always lots to look at. <laughs> lots of nice apartment blocks sitting around. So it's, not, it's actually strange to be walking on very smooth tarmac. Um, which obviously we don't do a lot around the Sunny Beach. We're on pretty rough roads and pavements. The one thing to bear in mind though, even though all the curbs have got drops on them, they have got the drops on the curbs, which is good. Um, they are very bumpy because they're stone, they're cobbled pavements. 
it would be pretty rough on a wheelchair and the other thing is it's built on a hill and it's quite a steep slope so if you're at the back of the resort you've got to be pretty fit to get down to the beach and the harbour it's not good oh. The nice thing with Sunny Beach, just two miles up the coast, is it's very flat. This is the opposite. And here are the masts. We're nearly at the harbour here, the marina. Certainly see the masts getting close. We have the magnificent, magnificent entrance to the harbour. Wow. I thought but most boats are in dry dock out of the water for the winter but you didn't expect I didn't expect this I really didn't look at this the lounges are out and people are enjoying the sunshine sunbathing on the 1st of November. Isn't that incredible? And they're in a ripple on the sea. Wow. Oh, I've got some little fish in the nets for the looks of it. I think I need a few of those for my dinner. There is actually catering available, Istanbul restaurant. Uh, we did come here before, in fact, I had a coffee and a cake, and it cost as much as a sort of two course dinner with a bottle of wine in Sunny Beach. So you are going to pay a lot to sit on the marina. So it is up market. But great for a treat. And so if you look through the back of the, the entrance to the marina here, I can see the Cuban Hotel and the Slingshot. So we're not very far from Sunny Beach. It's just a couple of miles. And it looks like we're going to live the high life now. We're on a flask and a sarni. Wow. Dinner. And here you can see how the very neat and very well planned resort uh, sort of stretches away from the marina up the hillside. Uh, out of breath a little bit when I just part the steps on the way back. I say, you've got to be fit. Especially for, for Vlas, you need to be relatively fit because there are some steep slopes here and lots of steps. But it's certainly worth the trek today. There's some fantastic, uh, well maintained cliff top gardens along here. Some fantastic walks. Obviously, in the summer, there'll be restaurants and grills going. But even off season, it's uh, 
it's a really pleasant walk and it's very quiet with the only people about up here really Hopefully you enjoyed walking around uh, Sveti Blast with us today and uh, so it's uh, ciao ciao for now and uh, hopefully see you again later.